I'm Monique Miller. I'm the mother of Sophia Miller, who has been receiving services through Infant Toddler Services the last three years. When I was 20 weeks pregnant through a routine ultrasound, we discovered that Sophia had trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome. Um, this was quite a shock uh, to my husband and I. Um, we were really concerned of all of the potential health issues associated with Down syndrome and we're really concerned about Sophia's overall, or the pregnancy in general, there's a high mortality rate with, with pregnancies of with Down syndrome babies. And so it was, it was a lot to take in at the time and, and we were very overwhelmed. Um, me, myself in particular, I, I think my husband handled the news better than I did, but we, we didn't share our news with anybody for quite some time. I think I needed time to digest the information um, but Michelle and I were friends and I decided, decided to share my news with her and I'm so glad I did. Um, I knew of course that Michelle worked for infant toddler services, but I was unsure of, of, of what exactly she did. I didn't, I, I knew she helped young parents that were maybe needed some help. Um, with in educating how to how to properly care for their children, but I really didn't know what she did, and so I was sharing with Michelle that I was overwhelmed about the pregnancy. I told her, you know, I I don't know anything about Down syndrome. Um, I don't know if I'll know how to properly take care of Sophia, and I didn't. I was really overwhelmed, and Michelle shared with me, and she said, "Well, I can help you." Um, that's what I do at Infant Toddler Services. I help parents and families in all different types of situations and so forth. And she said, you know, with, with, with myself and Michelle and my husband and with all the resources through Infant Toddler Services that, that she could be a, a support system for our family while we're going through this. And I was really relieved because when you when you receive a diagnosis like that for a child, you're just sort of left with a diagnosis, and you you know where do we go now? What do what do we do? And Michelle was that that help during that time. She was uh, and and has been a great advocate, a great supporter, a, a great friend, and and that's how our how it all started with our relationship with Infant Toddler Services. Michelle would routinely come for visits and um, help with some questions and um, some to know more about help to help educate us more about Down syndrome. Um, I remember her telling me, you know, she, she was, she didn't claim to be an expert on Down syndrome and she didn't, wasn't sure she would have all the answers, but she would help us find the answers and she would be a support system. Um, and she was from the very beginning. I remember when I came home from the hospital, she brought a big pot of soup over for our family. Um, one of the concerns I had when initially when Sophia was born was nursing. I, I really, really wanted to nurse her, but I knew that it was a, a lot more difficult to nurse Down's babies because of their anatomy and so forth. And um, think, uh, Thankfully, Sophia did wonderful. She was able to nurse for two years. Um, but I remember in the beginning, Michelle would come in for visits and she would bring a scale to weigh Sophia to make sure that she was gaining enough weight. That's always you know, an issue when you're nursing. You wanna make sure that the baby's getting enough, enough sustenance and is gaining weight. And Michelle would come and bring a scale and alleviate my concerns about that. Um, we would go through together and making sure Sophia was reaching all of her milestones that were age appropriate for her. And that was always encouraging that Michelle would come and say, yeah, she's, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. I mean, she is behind, but she's, she's improving every time. Um, uh, when Sophia 
was born, there were all sorts of extra tests that she had to have done to make sure she was um, okay to be discharged from the, ho from the hospital. And the medical bills were coming in and it was kind of, it was very overwhelming. Uh, my husband has a great job and we have great health insurance, but when you have a child that has a lot of extra tests and procedures done, you know, the, the medical bills can, can really be overwhelming. Michelle was the one who told us about Medicaid. Um, we did not know that because Sophia has a disability and all children with disabilities qualify for Medicaid. Um, we didn't know that. We had never been on Medicaid before. My husband had a job. We had health insurance. We didn't know that you can use Medicaid as a supplement to the insurance that you currently have. And uh, oh gosh, that was a that was a huge relief. Um, um, we we just were not aware. We didn't know that. Um, you know, we, we thought Medicaid was only for the elderly. We didn't realize that children with disabilities obviously would qualify for Medicaid now. Now thinking, I, it seemed, of course, it, it seems logical, but at the time we were overwhelmed and we just didn't know about Medicaid. So that is a huge relief. We know now that any type of, um, any medical care that Sophia may need, we, we can provide her for that uh, through our primary insurance and then also through Medicaid. And so that, that was, you know, a huge relief to know. And uh, Michelle helped us with that. Um, when I was concerned about Sophia's speech, um, she brought Lori, the speech therapist, and um, helped us with that. Uh, when I was concerned about discipline, uh, you know, like all children, of course, Down's children need discipline, especially when they're in their toddler years. Uh, and Down's babies are just like other children, but there are different methods that are more effective for them because they are different. And uh, Michelle was a great resource for that. She um, got me a great book that I still use uh, today. That's one of the things I think I really appreciate about infant toddler services is they're not pushy. Um, they provide for as little or as much help as you need. Um, Michelle never came in with a laundry list of things I wasn't doing right or needed to do. Uh, she wasn't pushy at all. They were very, very much of a support system advocates for families. Sophia is turning three now. Um, so she is aging out of infant toddler services. And what that means is that she now will have her care transferred to the public school system. One of the things I've realized about having a, a child with special needs is that the whole subject of school is really quite overwhelming. Um, uh, it, it's 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 overwhelming to think, you know, what what am I what am I going to do now? Is 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 my child going to make transition easy into? into the school system and uh, how on earth do you, do you figure out schooling for your child when you have a child that has a disability? Um, Michelle helped with that too. Um, when we were looking into finding the best preschool that would help Sophia and, and, and be, um, Michelle helped organize meetings and finding us a preschool. She, she put us in touch with the, the preschool teacher at Good Shepherd and the, the public school teachers to see which environment, which educational system would be best for Sophia. Michelle helped um, with starting up the evaluations that Sophia would have to start um, having to enter preschool. Um, one of the big concerns or worries I had was the dreaded IEP meeting that we would have to have for Sophia. Um, I'm a former educator and so I was familiar with how those meetings go and I was really overwhelmed. Uh, being on the parental side and not the educator side, I, I, 
I knew how daunting these meetings were. And I, I think Michelle must have recognized that because she offered to come with us. And uh, she did. She, she came to our IEP meeting with Sophia, who's my husband and myself and, and Michelle and Lori. And again, Infant Toddler Services was a great, they were, uh, they've been such a good support system for us in, through, through every step from the very beginning to um, sending Sophia off to preschool. Um, I remember there was one time Michelle was sitting on my couch and I was pregnant with Sophia and I was sharing with her how overwhelmed I was and I kept saying how different Sophia was going to be and I didn't know anything about Downs and I didn't know if I would, you know, be able to, to, to know how to help her. And I kept mulling over and over of how different she was going to be. And I, I remember Michelle just lovingly saying, but all your kids are different. All, all of your children have different gifts, different strengths and abilities. And, and Sophia is just her own person. And she, she will really be like all your other children and that they're all so different. And parenting is, is so hard, so incredibly hard. And when you have a special needs child, I think it brings parenting to a whole new level, the difficulty of it. And I think sometimes when you're in that difficult situation, we have a tendency to, to kind of see things from below the tree line, to below the clouds, because uh, you're in the midst of it all and it's, and, it's, and it's overwhelming. But I think what Michelle helped with me is she helped me realize that I was looking at things from the wrong perspective, that I needed to look at things from above the tree line from above the clouds. And she reminded me that we're, we didn't have to do this alone, that we had good friends and that this was something very unknown. We were about to embark on uncharted territory and it was overwhelming and scary, but we didn't have to do it alone. And um, we need friends like Michelle and we truly need services like infant toddler services in our community.